Philippine mythology, the creation of the world. In the beginning, there was nothing but darkness and void. From this emptiness emerged three powerful gods, Bathala, the god of the sky, Amon Sinaya, the goddess of the sea, and Ulilang Kalulua, the serpent god of the underworld. Each of these deities governed their respective realms and coexisted in the vast emptiness. However, Bathala and Ulilang Kalulua did not see eye to eye. The serpent god envied Bathala's dominion over the sky and sought to challenge his authority. Ulilang Kalulua ascended from the underworld to confront Bathala, leading to a fierce battle that raged for days. With his immense strength and wisdom, Bathala eventually overpowered Ulilang Kalulua and defeated him. Though victorious, Bathala was merciful, yet resolute. He ended the enmity by killing the serpent god, burning Ulilang Kalulua's body and scattering the ashes across the void. From these ashes, Bathala created the stars and other celestial bodies to illuminate the sky. While Bathala ruled the sky, Amon Sinaya commanded the sea. She, too, was not content with her realm's boundaries and often sent turbulent waves and storms to invade the sky. Bathala, however, used mountains and the heavens themselves to block her assaults. The conflict between Bathala and Amon Sinaya grew intense, threatening to unravel the very fabric of existence. To end the strife, Bathala extended a hand of peace to Amon Sinaya. As a symbol of their truce, he threw giant boulders into the sea, forming the first islands. These islands served as a bridge between their realms, representing the harmony between the sky and the sea. Now at peace, Bathala wished to populate the world with beings who would honor and care for his creation. He planted a seed on one of the islands, which grew into a tall bamboo tree. One day, Bathala heard voices coming from within the bamboo. Curious, he split the bamboo open, and out emerged the first man, Malakas, and the first woman, Maganda. Beautiful. Malakas and Maganda, the first humans, were tasked by Bathala with spreading across the islands, multiplying, and taking care of the land, the seas, and the skies. Satisfied with his creation, Bathala retreated to the heavens, watching over the world from afar, knowing that it was in good hands.